Hey everybody, John with Owl. Sorry for the background noise, we're in the, the main office, but this is where the whiteboard is, and when I get the whiteboard out, you know it's serious. I wanna talk a little bit about suspension today because we're getting a lot of calls about this and seems to be something that is spreading like wildfire in the storyteller groups on Facebook and so on. So let's talk about rear springs because I think there's a misconception about what is the hot ticket and what is actually the best suspension for your vehicle. So let's start off with suspension, one of the best things you can do to your vehicle. These vans are built out and they are overloading the rear leaf springs when they show up to you. And so increasing the rear spring rate in those leaf springs is gonna have a world of difference when it comes to the performance of your van. Now there's a couple ways to do this and I'm afraid that there's some uh, misconceptions out there. Now there is the Van Compass 4.3 which adds some leafs to the factory leaf spring. And this is going to, in the end, increase the spring rate, which is going to put you into the spec that you want for the van to handle properly. There's also an entire replacement leaf pack. Uh, there are times when you'd use this, but for the everyday customer, it is absolutely not the right choice. And I can tell you why. So, first of all, suspension is not all the same. A coil spring, we, people talk about cutting a coil spring, uh, lowering a vehicle or raising a vehicle. When it comes to coil springs, you replace it. You absolutely do not cut coil springs. You don't um, weld two together. That is, for lack of a better term, some redneck stuff that we don't do. So when it comes to leaf springs, leaf springs are individual discernible pieces of metal that have been uh, heated and cooled in a way to make them springy. So the way a leaf spring works is you've got a shackle here, and then you've got what's called a leaf pack. So uh, these connect to the vehicle, your vehicle's up here, and then you've got these pieces of steel that go like that. And then down here on the bottom is your axle. Your axle is actually gonna go this way. We're coming out, and somewhere down here is the wheel. So what happens here is, you need to make this spring stiffer. So with a Van Compass 4.3, you get two additional leaves that, not leaf pack, but leaves. So they go here and here. Now the reason this works just fine and is incredibly simple and very effective is that these are already individual pieces of steel. So it's not like you have a coil spring and then you're like putting some leaves below it. You know, it's not like you're kind of reinventing the wheel. What you've got is you've already got individual pieces of steel and you're adding to, and it still functions as a leaf pack. Leaf packs are just bolted together. Anyway, now the other option here is to replace this whole thing with something that looks nearly identical. So why would you swap this for this? When? When you swap for this, there are a couple of major drawbacks. One, you've got increased price. Because you're throwing most of this away, it's perfectly good and you're replacing it with basically the exact same thing with added leafs, which is the only thing you're buying here. So that doesn't make a ton of sense. Then you've got increased stiffness. This, unless you've got an incredibly heavy van, is going to lead to an incredibly stiff ride. It's too much spring. Uh, you're gonna get, it's gonna get very jarry. There is a window that you want this suspension and this is gonna be soft and this is gonna be firm, right? So this is the window that you want your spring rate to be in. Now, when you get your van from your dealer, you're here. The spring rate is too soft for the weight of the vehicle. Now, if you go to something like a Van Compass 4.3, you're gonna move it into here. It's gonna be perfect for your Rebel, your Storyteller, etc. Now, if you go to a full leaf pack replacement, you're gonna be up here. So you've traded one problem for another. So basically, if you've got a 3,500 and you haul around bags of cement all day, this is your ticket. If you got a Storyteller or a Rebel and you want something that is going to be in this window, which is the proper spring rate for the van, this is a much better solution. The last thing here that I don't like about this system, or I shouldn't say the last thing, in addition to increased cost, you've got increased increased installation costs, it's harder to install. But worst of all, um, and I'll cut away and show you this on the van, brake lines. We've had problems with brake lines and these leaf pack replacements. In fact, we don't even do a leaf pack replacement anymore. 
because in this one, in this scenario, there is a bracket that comes off and the brake line sits in it. In this scenario, the brake line actually lays across the leaf pack. And so as that leaf pack goes up and down, that brake line is now rubbing on that steel. Now, some folks that install these a lot will put a sleeve on it and so on. To us, that's a band-aid. Will it work? Absolutely. Is it something that you need to check periodically over time to make sure it's not wearing through? Yes. So add to this brake line. So what you've got is you've got something that's fairly inexpensive and it puts you right in the sweet spot. If you go to a full leaf pack replacement, you got increased cost, increased install, you're overly stiff and you can have brake line failure. So somehow, for some reason, in a lot of these groups, especially the storyteller group, somebody said, oh, this is the hot ticket. You wanna go with, a, with van compass shocks, but then you wanna get a full leaf pack replacement. And I'm not saying you're wrong in doing that. I'm just saying that based on the information that we have and the experience that we have, you're not gaining anything except some issues when you've got something that comes with a 4.3 that in my opinion is the best to get you into this proper operating window for the suspension. And case in point, I own Alvans. I can have any suspension I want on my van. It's all free. And what do I have on my van? I have the additional leafs from Van Compass that bolts right up. I can very easily have an entire leaf pack replacement if I want, but I choose what operates the best. And so anyway, I just wanted to take a, uh, more than a minute to explain how this all works so that when you're making your choice on your suspension, uh, brand agnostic, what I think is the best thing to do with the rear leaves. Uh, you can obviously make your own decision. Hopefully you found some of this helpful. I have a lot of videos on suspension. So if you want to deep dive more into suspension and how it works, um, check out some of our other videos. Hopefully you found that helpful. Again, you're always welcome to give us a call and chat more about suspension or anything else for your van. I appreciate it. <laughs>